what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and today we got some parts come in for the 2000 crv and we are going to put them on here they are from dna motoring yeah dna just like what be up in your body baby so in case you guys have not seen my other videos go back and check them out um, I also have a 2003 Honda S2000 that is turbo that I've done a bunch of videos on. And then we also have the 2000 Honda CRV budget build dad mobile, baby. Now, I know I did not make a video, but I want to go ahead and let you guys know. Yes, I did paint all the bumpers and the trim on this thing, and it looks freaking amazing. If you go back and look in the other videos, you're going to notice it's just whoa way freaking better it looks a lot 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 better i know i'm stressing that a lot but it's dude it's just fresh it's fresh and crispy just a black on white man just looks so damn good so as far as doing that it was really easy it was just using the uh, dupli color bumper and trim paint and guys it's literally as simple as taking off the panels taping off the panels whichever you want to do i took the bumpers off the uh the side splitters whatever you want to call them side molding there and then taped off the rest and then clean the things up, which I used, uh, what I used, Rust-Oleum's wax and grease remover. Wiped everything down after I'd washed the car and sprayed it. And this was, I would say, three coats on each panel slash trim piece, whatever. Which it came out really dark, really clean, really crisp. And honestly, was very, very easy and worth the time. Um, I know you can also burn them with, the, uh, with a torch or some heat. It kind of brings back that luster of the old original plastic and it's more like a gray look me dude i'm trying to get that i want the the black on white the hard the black and white hard colors like that i just really like that look with this thing where i'm going with that another thing too is i also got in my tire cover which again matches the uh kind of what i'm going for the black and white uh look on the car now let's get to the meat and potatoes of the video um what came in the box what are we doing today and i guess let's get the s2k out of the garage and this thing in the garage So I'm pretty sure at this point you've already read the title, you already know what is in the box, but we're going to see for ourselves what it actually is and the quality and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what actually came in the box, um, tell you how much I paid for it, see how the fitment is, and kind of explain from there for anybody that is interested in this product. So this is going to be an actual unboxing, whereas a lot of the times whenever I, uh, I do a video, I've already opened the box and pretend that I'm did an unboxing, but usually I don't. Usually I just do the finger knife thing. Are you guys ready to see what is inside the box? I'm going to cut this carefully. Like this. Samurai. And by the way, guys, this literally came in like three or four days. It was pretty quick. Pretty quick. So let's see what we got here in the box. All right guys, so right away, looks like everything's wrapped pretty good. It comes in a regular, regular ass box. This is gonna be an intake for your RD1 CRV, or I think it's what, 96 to 01 CRV. Here we have a tube. Shiny, pretty, it is a tube. So what is it with, uh, with car people? And anytime they get something that looks like it might be a uh, a pipe or a muffler or a pipe. They just want to make the, the car sound out of the pipe. I don't, like rage is overcoming you right now just to just to make a noise out of it. Oh, oh. <laughs> My neighbors are gonna be looking at me really weird. So yeah, anyway, here is the pipe. Okay, you see the pipe? We got a uh, good old piece of bolt hose here. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, wow. Um, it's pretty feisty. And then we have, let me see, the, filtra the filtration unit that came with this. Um, okay, here's the deal as far as this goes, guys. Um, this intake is actually not for a CRV. If you look online and you find the CRV intakes, 
They're typically $150. And again, this is a budget build. I'm not trying to spend a bunch of money on the CRV. It's a budget build. We're trying to build it on a budget. We're trying to have fun. That's what it's all about. So this intake is actually for a 94 to 01 Acura Integra. Um, found some research online, said that that would work. I guess we're gonna find out and see if it's actually legit. It should work. I mean, I've seen other people do it, so why wouldn't it work for me? It's me. Why would it work, right? It's me. Blue. Does this match any color or anything that I was doing with the car? No, I just said I was doing black and white. But again, for this being a budget build, I literally went and found a 94 to 2001 Acura Integra intake on eBay and went through and found the cheapest one. I could have got one with a black filter for like literally like four dollars more but again defeats the purpose i want to spend the least amount of money possible while still getting pretty much what i want and you see how that is going at this point so comes with a tube comes with a filter um it looks like a regular filter that you would probably overpay for at your parts store and it comes with your uh your hose clamps all that good jazz also comes with a bag of random goodies here um looks like you've got the coupler that goes from the throttle body to the intake tube big boy right here yeah this right here as you can see and we got wow uh looks like um we have some <laughs> looks like <laughs> looks like we have some hose clamps that a uh, that a person sat on or ran over with with a car or something I don't know they've seen better days so we'll see what we can do with these and then we also have some bracketry to mount it support it whatever yeah I'm probably not going to use that but uh there it is anyway and then some grommets for stuff I don't really understand Anyways, guys, again, 94 to 2001 Acura Integra short ram intake. Hopefully, he's driving to the muffler shop. That thing sounds like poop. Anyways, guys, 94 to 2001 Acura Integra short ram intake. Intake. This is not a cold air intake. Hot air intake, whatever you want to call it. That is what this is. So a lot of you guys might be wondering, why are you doing away with the uh, the factory box? I mean, what's wrong with it? It's not a, a race car, obviously. Um, you're gonna pick up probably no freaking power off this intake at all. And I don't really care about the power. For me, it's more or less, I don't know for sure yet if I wanna do exhaust on the CRV, just because I don't know if I want that much noise, but it would be nice to have a little bit of noise. So the induction noise would be cool. And honestly, I have a, a little bit of a situation going on here. We got some god dang gap action going on up in here. So you can see the freaking intake is like blow the hell out on this thing. Just sucking all that dirty air. All that hot dirty air. So yeah, um, honestly it's just really an excuse for me to justify putting this sweet intake on my slow factory stock. CRV. Let's go ahead and get the freaking factory one off, which is super, super easy. Um, just a couple 10 millimeters and it's like stuck down in here. And yeah, just, you know, it, it, you know, it's easy. It's easy. Like everything else. It just goes so smooth. Let's go ahead and get this thing taken off. All right, so a couple little things to add for someone doing this. A lot of times I like to assume, I guess, just people watching the channel are typically like uh, mechanically savvy or mechanics or know exactly everything what they're doing. And I kind of leave out pointers or things that could probably help somebody. So for all those guys that don't normally work on cars, and this is just a small DIY project you're trying to do at home, just a quick pointers. Um, the intake, when you're taking this off here, again, the all that gash action. When you're taking this off, this right here is a 5.5 millimeter screw head. And the screwdriver was like 
just stripping it out instantly because it's been on there for a long long time so 5.5 millimeter if you guys are confused trying to figure that out also another thing is you have a little uh jumper per se here i'm going to pull this back out there's two ways you can do this and i think i'm probably if i can see what i'm doing here damn that hose feels like ass yeah i probably need to deal with that um my hose is really really soft it's bad the hose is bad it doesn't look like it here but once you get back up in here it feels like old uh old like i don't know like an old flip flop flip flop that soaked up a bunch of oil and water because the oil had been leaking on the hose and then it absorbed it and made it like mushy so you have your hose that goes from here on the valve cover over to this hard line that goes into your intake that's what the little black hose they gave you is supposed to be for um we'll see how that mocks up it should fit like right here or something and then go to there we'll figure it out may have to cap this one off because I don't think I will be using it because again, this is for an Integra, not a CRV. Um, and then if you want to get rid of this metal line here, you can just basically take the hose off here, take it off here, and then get you a new piece of hose and run that. Or you can just take this and shove it down in there like what I'm probably going to do today because I really just don't have time and just let her, let her ride like that. Um, I'm really like... I'm really particular I typically do not let stuff like that fly but for the sake of getting the video done today probably just going to uh, let that let that one slide all right everybody like I said I was going to just like push it under there and let it slide but um, the I just I can't I can't the nitpicky and me just I can't I wish I could but I couldn't so what I ended up doing was, I need to hold the camera up, right? You guys need to check me in the comments. Like, hey man, get the camera up, get the camera up. Bad habit, I'm working on it. So, I dug through my pile here that I have not yet cleaned up, and I found some hose to get rid of this jalopy. Um, and if you see here, I clamped them off before and just pulled one off, and then slid the other one on, so that way I didn't have like a big giant mess. It did spill a little bit of coolant, but I think, I mean, it was literally like maybe a third of a soda can worth of worth of coolant, so not too bad. The reason I wanted to change this was if you look here, this thing looks like a slug. It's all fat and mushy, which if you look downstream on the camera here, I don't know, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. But anyways, you can see here, it goes from skinny to like fat slug, and it's real smushy and soft. Literally, I could probably stand on this and just pull and snap that thing in two like a Twizzler. Um, that's typically just from like, that's typically if you got a leak coming from somewhere, like I had a leak coming from here on the uh, the cam cap, which if you have a leak here, if you pop this thing out, there's actually an O-ring on there. You can pop the O-ring off, put a new O-ring on and pop it back in and fix that. So there's a little tip for you guys trying to help you out in case you have a little oil leak there that will take care of that. So that was leaking on to the hose, that and a combination of the valve cover gasket over time, which has also been replaced in here, which gives you that soft, mushy, nasty hose. Went ahead and took it off, replaced it. That way I don't have to worry about that in the future. And again, it looks a lot cleaner. You guys can kind of see it. it did spill a little bit of coolant here. Not going to worry about it because I do want to wash the bay again. Um, but I want to get this video done. So I'll do that off camera washing the bay afterwards. Um, but yeah, here's the hose here that I replaced. Nice and clean. No more stupid uh, metal line there. Don't need it. So we can have that gone and look a little bit cleaner. Let's go ahead and get the freaking intake and start mocking everything up on that. guys so the internet did not lie the 1994 to 2001 Acura Integra LS motor car the it's, it's just Integra LS if you look it up um, you'll find it as that listed typically on eBay but 94 to 2001 Acura Integra short Ram intake does fit the 2000 well 
minus the 2000, but you know what I'm saying, the, the 96 to 01 CRV. Um, there are a couple things though, just giving you a heads up going into this. The only thing I had an issue with was on the CRV, it does not use this hole here, so you have to block that off. This looks terrible. Don't tell me in the comments because I know. This looks stupid. This one is slightly too big and fat, and this hose clamp is horrendous, but these were things I had laying around my shop. Um, I'm actually, once I get done with the driving part of this video, showing you guys what it sounds like, telling you if I could feel a difference, um, I'm going to drive my happy ass on up to the parts store and get a correct fitting one. And that way I don't have to run the hose clamp. It'll just be a cleaner, better looking look. So they did give you the hose here that goes from the intake tube to your valve cover to pull pressure um, from the crank, uh, crank case. However, they do not give you clamps for that. So I happen to have a clamp laying around and then I had another clamp laying around the shop. So that will be some things that you need. You will need something to plug this hole, whether it be whatever you want to use, either the correct, um, the correct plugs, which you can buy a box of assorted ones at AutoZone, O'Reilly's, whatever like that for like, I think five or six bucks, which is exactly what I'm going to do once I get off the camera here and get done with the video and put a better looking one on here. And then obviously you can use worm clamps or you can get the compression clamps, which I will also probably be picking up another compression uh, style clamp just to, again, it's a little bit cleaner, makes it look a little bit more factory, a little, a little better. Um, also, when you put this thing on, since it is not designed for the car, if you want to do a bracket and the mounting bracket that they provide, you could support it potentially here or whatever you want to do. Me, it's not very heavy. Um, I just cocked the thing up, torqued it down in place. So I've got good clearance. It's not rubbing on anything and it's gonna stay there. It's gonna ride there. And it's also gonna be fed cold air through the factory, little air chute there that was already there before. So guys, for freaking $30 or not even that, let's be honest here, it's 29 some change and maybe some extra little things you got laying around your shop, you too can have this sick ram air action on your CRV. I guess the next thing is let's take this thing for a drive. Let's hear what it sounds like. Let's see if we picked up any power. Um, I'm gonna say no, we did not pick up anything. Um, again, it's more like a hot air intake than anything, but definitely should have some noise, which will make it a little more fun to drive. Let's get in, let's go for a ride, see what it feels like. All right guys, so we're driving the 2000 CRV now with our sweet eBay intake action going on. Um, normal driving, it obviously sounds the same because there's no like real induction happening. Um, I have not got on it yet, but I'm almost positive this thing's gonna break my neck. I'm just, I feel it. <laughs> I feel like it might break my neck because all the power we gained. No guys, probably ain't gonna pick up hardly anything, but we're gonna see. We're gonna hear some induction noises, make the turn here. You guys ready? Here we go. All that hard work, all that $29. About to go down. You ready? This is a roll. The 20 roll. You guys ready? Oh! Oh! Woo! Woo! Ooh, oh my god. There was 80. Wow. Yeah. It's still slow as hell. But it did sound good. It did sound good. Let's let's hear a little uh let's see a little let's see a little front action. You guys ready? Oh that oh my god. Oh. No wonder it's so damn slow. I had the AC on. Damn. Alright guys, I gotta I gotta do this again. Now that I got the AC off, no wonder it was so damn slow. I knew that was slowing me down. Let's see what she does. And look at this. This is weight reduction, guys. I'm running on fumes, so there's no excuse why this thing can't be just laying it to it. Let's do another little pull so you guys can see and hear all this induction noise. Let's do it from like a 30 here. Let's see. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. That was a $29 intake difference worth of power. So nothing at all, really. The noise though, we did gain some noise. Basically guys, like I said, this was to repair an already damaged intake tube 
So that's really why I did it. And why not add a little bit of bling to the engine bay since I already painted the valve cover, which I didn't do a video on. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I painted the valve cover white um, to match the car. So a little bit of engine bay bling, making a repair, 29 bucks, and probably picked up like nothing in power. Probably made my power worse because now it's sucking all that hot ass air. Anyways, guys, it was fun. It worked. It did its thing. We made the repair. We got some cool induction noises. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Baby! B20 power, baby! If you guys like the video, hit that like button. And do me a favor. Please, please, for the love of God, go subscribe. Go subscribe. Road to 1,000 has been the longest road on the planet for me. So, trying to hit them 1,000 subscribers, guys. Go ahead, again, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll be back with another one real soon. Thank y'all.